Previously on Starship Origins, the TRS Dauntless had to fend off an attack from an unknown military force. When they interrogated the officers, they realized they found an evil alternate universe version of their nation's military. The Dauntless then sought refuge within the Novus Federation, but under the condition that they did not restore the previous timeline. I'm not even sure if Carol will stay in the party. Since she is kind of the leader and has to stay on the ship's direct everyone, this is one hell of a ship you got here. I'm Commander Kryn Kozar. Commodore Wellington has reassigned me to be your second in command. I think we're going to make a great team. From right here, it's going to be a pretty dangerous mission. Are you going to join the party, replace one of my party members? Have you already been briefed on the situation? Yes. From what I understand, your crew and your ship are from an alternate timeline. What happened to your face? Scars can be removed with tissue regenerator, you know. It's an old battle wound, to remind me of where I came from and what I'm fighting for. What exactly are you fighting for? Commander? One day, we will liberate every colony controlled by the ESA. The very existence of that organization is a threat to the future of all of us. I don't wear this uniform because I want to. I wear it out of duty to protect our way of life. So how is this going to work? I get a feeling that my ship is being taken over. And also, if they're brainwashing people, I feel like it could take centuries to undo all the damage they did even if we somehow win the war. Commodore Wellington made it very clear that you're still in command, as long as the terms laid out by him are followed. Commander, any idea about our next mission? I'm just as much in the dark as you are. The briefing on the mission is at 0700 hours tomorrow. I'm feeling a bit tired. I will make my way to my quarters if you don't mind. Pleased to be working with you, Captain Everson. Since the previous commander was killed, I assume his quarters are available. Yes, it's Unit 17. I'll see you at the briefing tomorrow. Thank you, Captain. What do you think so far about Commander Kozar? I don't know. I, f I feel more comfortable with you as our second command. But terms clearly say we have to obey our command structure, otherwise we lose a ship. I'm feeling pretty tired as well. I sh should head to my quarters. We'll play along for now. Keep your eyes open for anything suspicious. Thank you, sir. Magnus? Can't sleep? Captain, our ship is crawling with these marines. They far outnumber our own crew. We are pretty much under their thumb. Something doesn't feel right. I can't guarantee the security of a ship under these circumstances. I noticed the number of personnel as well. We just have to do the best we can. We need a code word, Captain. In case either of us is captured, coerced, or unable to communicate freely. How about Groundhog? Groundhog. Got it. Sweet dreams, Captain. Same to you. Computer. What's the time? 0657 hours. Gotta run over to the meeting room. I must have overslept. I need to get to the briefing. We don't have s cell phones with c alarms anymore. You're late, Captain Everson. I'm sorry, Commodore. You didn't miss much. We were just getting started. Please take your seat. Yes, Commodore. Greetings, Captain. I didn't think you were going to make it. I overslept. Yesterday was a big day. Are you two done? Yes, Commodore. Good. Let's discuss our plan for capturing the Raven. Where is it? There's no way we're capturing it that early in the freaking uh, prequel game. We first discovered a vessel at the beginning of the war, just over five years ago. Five years? The Raven isn't even five years old. Exactly. Time travel, from your perspective. This is Raxian 2, a scientific research colony. It's, ho it's home to over 50 million ESA citizens. What does that have to do with the Raven? Raxian 2 has been a foreign in our site for some time. It acts as a launch point for ESA attacks on our nearby colonies. The Raven has been spotted during these attacks. Nova Centris and uh, Central Intelligence no uh, knew the vessel was a prototype. We knew that the Raven was based out of Raxian 2, however, until we analyzed the records from your ship, we had no idea what we were dealing with. But 
it's a heavy cruiser, so it'll be much stronger than the Dauntless, won't it? We saw a vessel disappear in the slipstream gate. That's what, when everything changed. Does this mean the Raven has been operating for, for years, creating this chaos? To us, it was only yesterday. We have our operatives were stationed on Raxian 2. They lost their lives in the line of duty. To send back the spiral intelligence. The Raven is currently in dry dock on the surface below, which means it won't be making any jumps through the slipstream gate. They've been researching the functionality of the slipstream gate. They're creating a smaller version, known as the slipstream chamber. This is probably they probably want to go change the timeline even more in case the uh, Novus starts to gain an advantage. This will allow them to send operatives to almost any time and place. From almost from almost any time and place. Damn. They must be stopped. The device is set to be operational within a few days, and transported to Earth, assuming they haven't succeeded already. We must strike now. Our whole reality is on the line. If we can capture a Raven and take Rexian 2, we can change the balance of power in the region. Until today, capturing the Raxian 2 is deemed too risky. Currently, doing nothing carries the greatest risk. One of our operatives is, uh, operatives is still alive. They have obtained the command codes for a planetary defense shield. We will have the element of surprise. We will initiate an attack in orbit around the planet. The Dauntless will be present. The ESA fleet will believe this attack is just another skirmish. They will be sorely mistaken. At the right moment, we give a signal to our operative to disable the planet's defense shield. Then, we send in troop transports, tens of thousands of marines. These marines will quickly capture key facilities on the planet, including the facility containing the Raven. We might have to fight the Raven itself. There's no way we get away with uh, uh, with this, right? The Raven's control systems can only be accessed with a Terran Republic biometric access code. We are aware of that. Your squad, commanded by Lieutenant Archer, will join the landing party. Archer and his team, with the help of our marines, will secure the facility. Once the facility is secured, you will use your code to gain access to the Raven. We get our own boss unit. Heh. <laughs> Just let me equip my people correctly. We believe this operation has a high chance of success. Where are the next steps, Commodore? The fleet will set a course for Rexian 2 immediately. We don't know how much longer our operative will be able to loot er, capture. Time is off the essence. Report to your ship. Set a course for Rexian 2. Understood. Dismissed. You know, one thing this one thing that would help with this game is having a quest log. I feel like since it, uh, 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 since right now it's pretty linear, but if there if we have too many things to keep track of, that could be bad. And I heard that the main game is not going to be linear at all. Are we ready to depart, Captain? Yes. No real choice. Set course to Rexian two. Affirmative. And please let me get, gain access to my team again so I can equip them. Oh, I have to actually control you. Dauntless. It has its own equipment and such. What? It can actually learn stuff too. Don't I already have some of these skills? The heck? Okay, the guide says to go into this warp gate first. Okay. Galaxy map. Our mission does not permit us to enter. Okay, we're railroaded. Leave Novus. Oh boy. Okay, so this question mark indicates where we need to go. Nexus Sector. Why is it called Nexus Sector when we have a Nexus Station in Novus? That's very weird. Yes, let's go. Oh crap. Come to Rollington the fleet. Let's show them what we're made of. Oh no. Dauntless. What's my, what is my objective here? Do I not have any allies to back me up here? Cause that I look freaking outnumbered. I can only place one unit. All right, let's just do it. YOLO, I don't think I'm gonna win, but whatever. What? A bunch of people showed up. 
All right, put this entire battle on quadruple speed. So there's something I learned about this tactic system that's not good, that really, really sucks. But I'll get to that later. So for now, I'm just trying to figure out what to do about all these obstacles. It inhibit my movement and make it hard for me to target the enemy. It also makes it hard for them to directly target me, but still, it does slow down, it does make the initial part of the battle pretty slow, especially with the slow animations. Hence another reason why I wanted to speed the whole thing up. Yeah, this game has very slow animations in general. Like, uh, yeah, you, uh, tricky thing with RPG Maker games is to figure out how slow and fast your animations should be. Well, tactics games in general do take longer than regular uh, RPGs, but still. This one felt like it really took a long time, even in terms of regular movement. Yeah, so you have to figure out what the best time is. And if you do absolutely must have an animation that takes a lot of time, you have to make it very important, very impactful. Like, it has to deal... it has to, like, one-shot an enemy if it's going to take that long. In terms of animations for both RPG and tactics battles. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a... trying to get out of this obstacle zone, trying to flank the enemy, but it's not easy. This feels like there are a bunch of very narrow openings. And also, the torpedoes... I noticed the torpedoes, sometimes they will miss. They're, they're cut slightly randomized, even if they have good AoE. Yeah, if you're... If the enemies are clustered, then obviously you'll want to use it. But if you're just fighting one enemy, you're probably better off just using a regular attack. Yeah, sadly I don't have that many skills on the ship yet, but maybe in the future I should consider a ramming attack. But ramming can also be risky because it deals some damage to m my own side. Also, here's where the bad stuff comes in. See that a sp a spray of an explosion? You cannot cross it. It becomes a new obstacle. A new wall. That's very bad. Because if it clears the, uh, the battlefield too much, it can be very hard to get around. And also makes no sense because you think in space people would be, uh, be able to go over or under it. I think the be the best compromise would be to turn it into an into just a uh, into just a movement penalty so that it, it decreases your movement range slightly, but but not by too much. Since you would logically spend an extra unit of movement trying to go over or under it. Yeah, I am not sure the, the electric discharge is worth it. it. Seems kind of risky. But once you flank an enemy like this, it, it's pretty much easy pickings. It does feel kind of awkward using long-range weapons at point blank, but whatever, it's all fair in love and war, right? Now, maybe one day I'll have to learn a proper melee skill for this. Yeah, those dead bodies everywhere just blocking my way. I wonder if it's worth summoning the fighter drones, but I feel like they, in such a narrow space, it would just add more bodies and more walls for me to deal with. Right now, there's practically an entire wall right there splitting the obstacle part of the northern map. It makes all the dead bodies. Yeah, I'm just gonna sneak around over here, and if you... If you end up not being able to attack for the turn, you might as well just heal if you're not at full health. Healing is pretty cheap, surprisingly. Those repair drones are very cheap compared to a lot of your other skills. Yeah, you can't use items, but your heal is, but pretty much every unit can do some kind of healing, so it's it's not too bad. I don't think I've seen the enemy heal that much though. So, but that but that's a but fortunately that just prevents the battle from being dragged out too much. Summoning, summoning the mites on uh, uh, tiles I already occupied don't actually do anything, though. So that was a, a, a pretty big mistake on my part. I should have just went with regular attacks. That would have been more productive. Okay, now just one more dune. Fortunately, I kept myself healed, so the uh, so torpedoes didn't actually kill me. But that explosion right in the middle there is going to be a bit of a, an obstacle, it's forcing me to walk around it. Just get behind you so it clears some room for my other units. I don't know why the enemy just gets right up next to me though. That's just asking them to get attacked from behind by the time my turn comes up. 
There we go. I think I'm within range now. Ugh. I'm gonna count most of that battle. Let's just... Uh, getting, uh, moving around the map is really clunky when there's a lot of obstacles and dead bodies everywhere. Excellent. What about our landing force? Sending the signals are operative. Captain. The planet's defense shield is coming on offline. Marine transports, receive phase two. Okay, how do obstacles work on the land, though? Uh, uh, near a planet's surface. Oh boy. Wait, what the heck is... Archer's unit? What the heck is this? We're not, where's our ship? The heck? This is new? I don't have a choice. They didn't give me any other units. Oh no, they gave me some green dudes. Okay, obstacles seem to work quite a bit differently here. Yeah, some skills do uh, do not care about the walls as much. There aren't that many enemies, but it, it's still gonna take a while to get to them all. Do the do the how it's not it's not always obvious which parts you can travel over easily and which you cannot. There's a lot of trees that those really act as choke points. Also, it turns out that yeah, so they can shoot over walls. That really caught me off guard. They got a bunch of free hits on my main unit. Fortunately, I did not die, but it was a close call. And yes, your units can block each other from moving, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm personally uh, not having a fun time with the tactic system of this game. It's One thing I should have really considered is using the teleport function of the uh, drones more. That would allow me to ease, more easily flank the enemy and not get into such bad situations. Okay, so one of them actually left the safety of their fortress. Yeah, the tanks cannot attack directly in front of them, though, or the drones. The drones look like tanks. It's really hard. I always call them tanks because they're, they, they're kind of shaped like it, but they're supposed to be drones. Maybe they're not the same size as full, full tanks, I guess. They're like small, automatically piloted tanks or something. Also, I think we can actually move over corpses this time, which is really weird. I don't know why the rules are so different between versions, uh, between the ground and space battles like that. Yeah, we can actually walk over to dead bodies, otherwise it would have been very hard to get in. I don't know why the rules suddenly changed. It makes n less sense that way. You think it would be harder to tr travel over dead bodies on the ground than in space? Because on the ground, you you logically would not have as much three-dimensional movement as in space. It just makes no sense. Anyways, I'm going to go flank them at, in multiple places. Hopefully this will get them good. I can just teleport wherever I want with these drones for some reason. Fortunately, the enemy did not have their own drones to do the same to me. Otherwise, that would have, it would have been very difficult to flank them. Oh man, they're at the very top of the map. And dead. Okay, hopefully that I'll never have to. I think that they say the guide says that it was the last tactics battle of the game, and now we have the. Seven. Finally. We can put a stop to this mess. Archer the Dauntless. We are about to, a kilometer away from the facility. Finally. We can finally use our sipes and slaughter them all. So far we have encountered almost no resistance. Something isn't right. Everson the Archer. 
The other teams across the planet are reporting the same thing. This is a trap. Don't tell me you're going to blow up the entire planet. I'll keep you posted, Captain. Archer out. Okay. Time to give everyone the best shit ever. Matt Consife. Yeah. Good luck. We'll stay here and guard the landing ship. Good thing it gave us a lot of room for error. Agility implant. Wait, what? Nanobot implant. More med kits and... Hmm. More supplies. Okay. Agility implant. Sacrifices some other stats for other stats, huh? Permanent implant. See some of my own allies here. Just setting up camp. We have already won. Dude, we, they're probably gonna detonate the planet. There's no... Why else would it be so unguarded? Until they got us in the bag. I bet they have a listening device that lets them spy on the sister ship, and that's how they know all our plans. Guard duty is boring. But at least I'm safe. Or maybe they have a spy within the Novus. Good luck with the facility. I don't envy you. This is a pretty big map. They have, there have been far fewer troops than we expected. This has been almost too easy. Uh, I'm, I'm scared now. They almost definitely have a plan. It's been too quiet. A little too quiet. Been too cool. Yeah, too quiet. They're all saying the same thing. Something doesn't feel right. Oh, man. Racting was supposed to be a tough fight. What happened? Can't guarantee your safety past this point. Be careful. It works to protect the landing site. Good luck on infiltrating the facility. I see a dead guy. What the heck? Whoa. Come on, I want to test my stuff. That's a lot of tanks. Ah! Haha, -ha, I don't take as much damage now. Okay, so... Does it really attack twice? The, how does this work exactly? Oh, no, I get two turns. It's not just attack twice. It's just two turns. Straight up two turns. 500 with my weakest physical attacker? Nice. How much does cover fire do now? Probably not a whole lot. Oh no, it actually does a decent amount now. Whoa, 800. Having two turns is actually completely insane. Even if I only had this in the end game, it would still be completely insane, I feel like. Holy moly. Gonna use regular normal attacks. Yeah. Back then, this would have been really tough, but now, hmm, it seems like I get more knowledge to, if my characters actually take action. That's probably why some people get more than others, which is gonna be tough to make sure everyone. That means the fastest people will be probably get more brain power, huh? Item. All right. Whoa, that's a big one. Even with my scythes, will it be able to present a challenge? Or will it just fall like the rest? That's a lot of drones. Yeah, if I didn't have this OP armor, I would probably be eating shit right now. Hell, I'm not even sure the tier 2 armor would be enough to survive against these guys. Considering how fast they are. Fast and numerous. Yeah, cover fire actually does enough damage, huh? Yeah. Another one bites the dust. 
But now there's a path up and a path down. Where should I go? And do these guys respawn? The fact that they leave bodies behind makes me think they don't. The guide said to go down, so maybe going up leads me to something optional and useful. Yes, a treasure! Wait, what the heck is that? It's just to take in the view. Look at the parallax mapping. So... Yep, no respawning. They're dead. Forever. That means if I wanted to farm anything, I'd have to use the runaway trick. Okay, let's keep going. We should be able to stomp most of these guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Med kits. Sorry, some of our guys some of our guys did not make it. Damn. They did not use the MatCon 5 scythe strategy. Okay. Two paths, south and east. Oh, items. Med kits. Some healing items. Okay. Yeah, playing normally, I don't even. I don't. It doesn't look like you can easily f farm the Matcon scythe. So if you use the trick at the beginning, then it is possible, huh? Med kits. Okay. Am I going the right way? Okay, advanced med kits. There it is. We secured an outside perimeter of the facility. Okay. We could have taken this planet a lot sooner if we knew it was going to be this easy. Obvious trap. Something doesn't feel right, sir. We're still waiting for orders before we go into the facility. Right, we've early obliterated the ESA forces here. The ESA. The sequence of events. How did it get this screwed up? Kern has done a lot of damage. Log showed the Raven is still in the hangar underground. They were not able to escape in time. It could be a trap. Definitely a trap. Let's find the Raven. Secure the lobby. There's still scattered enemy forces throughout the facility. It'll take us some time to clean them out, but they won't respawn. Can't guarantee your security beyond this door. Everything after that is an encounter. No convenient- no heal bots to rely on, unfortunately. So it's a good thing I bought all that OP armor, huh? Yeah, there's no heal bot in sight, unlike in the tutorial dungeon. Just relying solely on medkit. Intelligence reports that Novus attack is on the way. Central Command has been quiet about how they plan to respond. Senior staff are being evacuated. I've been left behind. I'm sorry to get the feeling I, we're, we're being left for dead. Is Central Command trying to hand Raxi into Novus on a silver platter? This is a recent log, isn't it? The officer seems concerned about Raxi not being properly defended. What's going on here? What? It's a new unit! It looks quite strong. ESA Android, that means... Does that, so it doesn't, does it count as bio or mechanical? Or both? Hmm. Okay, so I have that one passive that regens power. That's going to be important to have on my hu human characters. D 
done. Another android. What? Raven is still here, but the slipstream chamber is gone. What? Access denied? Seriously, those androids hit point wise, they look like they're somewhere between the regular mooks and that boss from the tutorial. Good thing I have all this gear. Seriously, that Graviton probably would have one shot most characters with regular a tier 2 armor. I've been unable to locate Colonel Fraxton. He's the only officer with the clearance to enter a hangar. If I don't find him soon, we're gonna have to leave the Raven behind. Nobody wants that. We've run out of time. Novice Marines are incoming. Then they can move during dialogue. Yup, again, do not let that happen ever in a game of touch encounters. Immune? So, no. Androids can still be healed by bio-type healing effects. What the? I didn't know- I don't know where I'm going. Don't shoot! I surrender! What's the maintenance technician? I recognize your uniforms. You're not Novus. You're the crew. From that other ship. Tell us how to get to Raven. Now! Only Colonel Frexton has the key to the hangar. I haven't seen him since the attack began. There has to be another way to get to the hangar. Perhaps the computer core. What about the computer core? You might be able to trigger a manual override. Access to the computer core also requires a key. Unless... Unless what? The only other way to get to the computer core is to use the maintenance tunnels. The tunnels have automated defenses. Here's my key. Just don't hurt me. Entrances to the tunnels are located throughout the facility. One of them is just up ahead. Oh boy. Go on. Get out of here. But notice will kill me. That's your problem. Not ours. Come on. Let's find the entrance to the maintenance tunnel. Alice Cromwell? Who the hell is she? She looks psycho. Kern, he has a serious case of megalomania. How do you even get hired as a scientist? Are these all the main villains of the game? Is this is the android version of Kern? Did something unusual happen when he made the transfer? He got assassinated, remember? Hmm. Director Ra. Not familiar with him. Medkit? That's a strong-looking enemy. Hopefully they don't respawn and I can just kill them. Because I heard this place is hard, difficult to navigate without a guide. Balls! Dude. Plasma Drone. Whoa, that's pretty good. I'm only using drones with people who have power regen, otherwise it is not worth it. Okay, and corpse left behind, cool. Revives... okay. Good thing everyone's organic. That kind of simplifies the whole healing process for us, doesn't it? Get out of the way, I need to get the item. Advanced med kit. Mist, okay. Nanobot gel. Charge station. Power station. A chest I missed. Liquid grenade, okay. Alright, new floor, maintenance, uh, the second part of maintenance tunnels, huh? 
This is a research facility. We were here before, actually. Okay, so that... Uh, it would have been actually faster to go here first, but that we would have missed out on the treasure. Not that the treasure really avails you much. Okay, I actually entered from the westmost part of the research facility, just because I want to kill more of these guys and get more uh, skill points, actually. Since I, uh, I think it's, I should prioritize trying to increase my max health as well. I think that would give me a little bit more leeway. Yeah, I don't... It's possible that late game enemies will account for me having OP gear. Also, Trip does not have a lot of max health to begin with, so I think that's a good priority for him going forward. Yeah, so there's really no point sparing too many enemies. Since uh, since I'm not sure which skills I'm gonna need, I might as well just throw in, uh, allocate randomly until I hit something good. Continue the story, we have to go to the top right corner here. Now the third maintenance tunnel map. Okay, now to this transport. Top right corner again, I think. Okay, facility CPU core. So they're not gonna electrify the floor, are they? The heck is this place? Okay, it's path to south, path to the north. That's a lot of guys. Stay up, step away from the computer core. Oh, it's you. Sorry, do we know each other? More or less. Was he a crew member of the Raven? What are you talking about? Who are you? I'm Colonel Eric Fraxton, your nightmare. We've met before, at least from my perspective. Oh no, he killed the version of you from this timeline, although you're much older. Your pathetic order will fail. You're too late. Our order? Oh, you'll find out. I know what you've come for. That ship. Don't waste your time. The ship is meaningless now. What? Why? Very unlock the secrets of the crystal. The chip. We no longer need a ship. Or a gate to make the jump. Nobody can stop us now. We know what we're doing. Unlike your sorry excuse for a crew. Just sit back and leave the rest to us. Why are you doing this? What gives? To bring order to chaos. You can learn a thing or two from watching us. Enough talk. Let's see what you're made of. A lot of guys. Ow. 3,000. Yikes. Okay. Cat like reflexes. And sonic evasion. Polar on drones. I'm sure this will wipe out hopefully most of the mooks. Graviton burst on Craxton. Some of them dodged it. So you're not totally useless after all. Now you're getting my blood pumping. Crap, they have their own. Good single target shit. Ah! Oh no, he has a Madcon Scythe too! It actually does a lot of damage even with- uh, even with my- uh, with my armor and the passives. Uh. I have so many skills it can be kind of difficult to navigate them, huh? Man, these guys somehow dodged all my attack. My AoEs. I get. Do AoEs have reduced accuracy compared to normal attacks? Hmm. Plasma drones. And normal attack. Uh. 
If you defeat me, you'll regret it. Well, too late now. My attack command is already inputted. Hiya! Is this one? E is this battle even possible with regular equipment, though? Thanks for the warm-up, kids. Huh? Is he a second form? Kids. Enjoy the ride. He's gone. The hangar has been unlocked. He activated a manual override. What's he up to? Come on. Let's get to the hangar. We don't have any time to waste. This is very suspicious. Why did he go easy? Uh, why he... Uh, he took his loss extremely well, even though uh, we should have gained an advantage like that, right? Weird. Okay. The lift. Hanger. Docking bay. Is that what I think it is? It might be trapped. I don't know. I'm scared. The Raven. They gave it up way too easily. I'm scared. Archer the Dauntless. We found the Raven. Excellent, Lieutenant. See if we can gain access to the vessel. Yes, sir. Archer out. Uh, I do not trust them to keep my people alive. Provide biometric access code. Archer 157D18571. Scanning subject. Access code confirmed. Access granted. Why is the brig open that way? We're finally here. But what happened to the crew? Scanning logs. Archer the Dauntless. According to the logs, they were not able to escape before a fleet's arrival. They were able to transport the slipstream chamber off the planet. They must have deemed the slipstream sh chamber as a higher priority. The chamber was transported to Earth for further study. An encrypted transmission was sent from the Raven shortly before their escape, using an unknown carrier wave. Archer Dauntless. Archer Dauntless. We secured Raven. A number of ESA personnel were able to activate the slipstream chamber. An encrypted transmission was sent shortly before they made their escape. Understood, Lieutenant. And stand by. Ever seen the Commodore Wellington? Wellington here. Lieutenant Archer and his team have secured the Raven. It appears that the enemy forces were able to escape with the slipstream chamber. The chamber was transported to Earth. An encrypted transmission was sent from the ESA facility. Understood. What about the air teams? They were able to take the planet with little resistance. The ESA didn't put up much of a fight. Somehow I can't shake the fact that we've been led into a trap. Of an exploding planet. Captain! A large vessel just entered the system. Configuration unknown. The vessel is accelerating toward the planet. It's totally ignoring the fleet. What is this? Some kind of deception? Is it a missile? A nuke? A giant mech? The vessel is releasing what can only be described as radiation cloud. I'm taking levels over 5,000 sieverts, a thousand times greater than a lethal dose. It's killing everything it touches. What? They're gonna torch this place. But no, we're all dead. Depending on who d d dies, I'm gonna have to unequip them. They seriously rendered the entire planet uninhabitable just to get rid of us? Damn. Why didn't anyone shoot it down? Cough, sir, cough. I'm being eaten alive. I can't breathe. Erg. Sir, the radiation cloud is killing anything it comes in contact with. Millions are dying as we speak. 
This is a disaster. Wellington to all landing parties. Evacuate immediately. Were civilians on that planet? Oh shit. Ever seen the Archer? A deadly radiation cloud is being spread throughout the atmosphere. You have to get out of here there. It's too late to return to the landing craft. Your only chance is to activate the Raven slipstream drive. Captain. Without a gate to focus on temporal shift, it would be a blind jump. This has never been attempted before. We have no idea when or where we'll end up. Negative, Captain. Enough damage has already been done. We're not going home empty-handed. We must retrieve the Raven. But they'll die. In war, people die. People die when they are killed. It's a fact of life. The Raven is too valuable to lose right now. I'm not going to let my crew die. Not on my watch. No one can do something about it. Stand down, Captain. Everson the Archer. Activate the Raven slipstream drive. Captain Everson, you are relieved of command. Ca Commander Kozar, have her taken to the brig. No. Get your hands off me, Everson the Archer. Groundhog. I repeat, Groundhog. Captain. Captain! Damn it! Captain has been removed from command. There's nothing we can do now. We need to get to the bridge. The slipstream drive is controlled from there. We'll carry out Captain Everson's orders. Oh boy, who do I need to ditch from the party? I hope you remove the, their equipment automatically. A blind jump has never been attempted before. We may not make it, but we have no choice. I think slipstream drive. Dang it, I guess our alliance with Novus did not last very long, huh? Are you satisfied? A crippling defeat, millions dead. And we lost a ship. It couldn't have gotten any worse. I wasn't just going to let them die. Coverage of the battle is all over the news. Novus has been blamed for the massacre. All this is your fault. You better get comfortable. You're going to be here for a long time. Our fault? They would have gassed us whether or not we, uh, uh, we tried to take the ship, though. If we took the ship your way. Get lost. Enjoy your new home. Damn, so much for the Alliance. Am I just stuck here now? Is this how it ends for me? What the? Who's that? Who's for the prisoner? Day in and day out. It's always the same slop. I'm not hungry. You need to keep your strength up. Captain. Wait, what? You're you're a dude in disguise! Ramirez? Is that you? Over the last five years, I've had to watch you suffer. Five years? What? It's not right what they've done to you, sir. And then today. What? How? Here's your meal, sir. A key? I wish there was more I could do. Oh shoot, I better unequip everyone from the other party, because it feels like I'm going to get a new party entirely. Soy balls? Again? Is that like tofu? There's something hard inside a soy ball. What is it? A Matcon transponder. I wonder where it goes. Can it, do these things even work inside these cells? After all this time, is this really happening today? Here goes nothing. Seriously, that is a massive time skip. Yeah, I feel like I need to go back, reload, and unequip everyone. Holy shit. Where am I? A shipping container. There's a toilet in there. A tablet. Archer is alive. Last known location, Kelvic 4. You're on a freighter bound for Kelvic 4. Things have not gone according to plan. Sorry for the bucket. I hope you can find him. I hope you can get us home. I wish I could have gotten you out sooner, sir. Ramirez. 
How did Ramirez ever even get out? Uh, uh, even manage to get her out? Uh, how did Ramirez manage to disguise himself as a soldier? Archer's alive. So Raven survived the blind jump. The freighter must be leaving the station. So this kind of it feels so unfair for uh, uh, for them to blame everything on uh, uh, on the Dauntless crew. We did tr literally did everything we were told, other than uh, 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 the tra uh, transporting the Raven. Yeah, even if we weren't there, they probably would have gotten gassed up by the, uh, by that attack anyway, since... Should it be on them for not trying to intercept that sh enemy ship that was launching all that gas? Finally made it. I never wanted to go for that ag I never wanted to go for that again. The information on the tablet indicated this is a cruel planet. What would Archer be doing here? Probably organizing his own resistance? Hell no. I need to find Archer. And I need to reload. You have gained absolutely nothing the past few years. They d yeah. I have no idea what happened to the old team. I don't know if it's safe to unequip them either. Yeah, I need to reload. Unequip them so that Carol does not instantly die in one hit. Seriously, how many people actually equipped ever uh, Carol Everson correctly back then? Probably not many. So uh yeah, let's let's try to do something about that. Wait, I can't put any implants on her, not even the agility one that I found before. Wait, no. The fuck is my inventory? I don't have anything in my inventory. If I unequipped everything, it would not even transfer over to her. Okay, so I guess I, s I keep going. I don't know. Yeah, this is... She has a completely separate inventory from the others. And it, dang it. Does that mean if I did equip something on her, she, it would have reverted back to whatever the, this default shit is? This is bad. What if she runs into something that's expecting tier 2 equipment? I'd be screwed because I don't have anything on me. Not even a freaking potion. Damn it, I, I really hope I'm, uh, uh, things aren't as bad as I think they are. Okay, I, I had to reload the game and I made sure to unequip everyone just in case. In case I ever get my equipment back upon finding them. But still, I did leave a la the Ion Lance on like one person just to test if it truly disappears forever. If it, they do disappear forever, then well, yeah, that's definitely a canary in a, in a coal mine kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, so this will be my canary in the coal mine. Poor canary. Can I go in these other shipping containers? What? I better get out of here soon. I don't want to get caught. They don't want me to explore the shipping containers. No, what if it contained a, like another Matcon 5 sword? This was horrible. I never want to go back in there again. Man, come on. There could be a Matcon 6 sword. You never know. Go towards the light. So this is Kelvic 4. I wonder why Archer would, uh, 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 would be here. Carol Everson? I don't know. Who's asking? Ramirez informed me of your arrival. My name is Kira. We've never met before, but you might know my father. Sloan Valenti. Wait, what? Was did Sloan... Uh, how did... What? Is it maybe the alternate version of Sloan? I wasn't aware Sloan had a daughter. He has two daughters. Myself and my sister. Anna. He seems a bit young to have two adult children. There's much to discuss. Let's head back to Keskus. We need to get you a new pair of clothes. You look awful. I feel awful. Come on. Let's go. You don't have any money on you, do you? And you're a freelancer, I guess. Terran. Yeah, the class and the race, that's what these two trees are. But then there's a bunch of other trees that 
makes you question your uh, 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 your skill point allocation. The forklift is malfunctioning again. Two paths. If you'll excuse me, I'm in the middle of doing inventory. A world map? Can we get random encounters here? I hope not, because I don't think our basic equipment is going to help. Kevlar? Is that better than what I have now? It's only... E this is 11, this is 30. It's actually worse. But you do have charge capacitor and nanobot implants, so I guess that's good. P Polonium blade? It... It's okay in pa It's pretty good part in power attack, but... Hmm. Wow, it's actually not too bad compared to basic laser pistol. Personal shield as well, but slows the user down a bit. I like the other shield that does not slow me down better. It has decent defense without slowing me down. Clearly a win. So this is the city of Keskis. My room is to the east. Let's go. Where are these statues? They look kind of like Buddha? I, I guess. W welcome, travelers. Here you'll find unique weapons from across the sector. I don't think any of these are quite on par of the site. Seriously, why would you put the better shop at the beginning of the game and then make a w give us a weaker one at the end? Dude. Hopefully your armor is... Hmm... The power armor is not bad, but it's. I feel like the doppelganger one is just too OP. Seriously, why did you put all the good stuff at the beginning? That's. That, it's like you're just asking players to grind at the beginning if they actually want to ever touch that stuff. Why is this guy angry? I only speak to my own kind. Get lost. What? Do we have a crawl on our team? Maybe we can. If we have a crawl on our team, we can get more info out of you. Basic stuff, okay. You love traditional krill food. Balan fruit, croc lava, insect native to krill homeworld, blue sausage from the meat of Casa Misa. Unfortunately, all of this is pretty much inferior to medkits. So I will probably not try that. I can enter your house. Who are you? Get out of my house. This ain't an RPG. Dad, I found her. Remember, is this plan worked? Captain Everson, it's been so long. Wait, Sloan? He looks old now, and no helmet. And he has an anime face. Sloan, is that really you? You've aged. Things have not gone according to plan. So the Raven survived the blind jump. More or less. We were thrown 25 years in the past. The slipstream drive was damaged beyond repair. 25 years? Where is the Raven now? Somewhere safe. Archer ordered us to hide the ship. We were supposed to lie low until the years could pass. Until we could find ourselves in the present again. Don't want to f Wait, but does that mean that this... Wait, so... Okay, that... That colonel was talking about another archer. Was, was he talking about the one that jumped 25 years in the past or the one native to this timeline? Where's Archer now? He entered a labyrinth three days ago. He never returned. Oh no. What about the rest of the team? Sasser, Benz, and Triple End with Archer. They're also missing. Oh no. That's four people missing. As, as we're fading Vulcan, they are conducting our operations. Surveillance within the ESA and Nova Federation, respectively. We, so we're forming our own third faction to go against both of them. Kira, didn't you say you had a sister? Anna. She has chosen her own path. Oh, no. Nah. She has chosen her own path. The Coalition. What's the Coalition? What's the... F so why did you, you all end up coming here? What's so special about this place? Over the years, we learned that the crystals were created by the Krogi. They are an extinct cousin of the Krill. They share a common evolutionary history. Keskus is among the most ancient cities of the Krill. What you see above the surface is the new city. It has been rebuilt countless times. Under the surface is the old city. 
often referred to as the Labyrinth. Show, some periods the old city was built by the Krogi, not the Krill. The city is home to a cult. They call themselves the Children of Time. Children of Time, so they might know something about our crystals. The cult was formed thousands of years ago. Their prophet Keldar claimed to be from the future. Their prophecies foretold an event called the Purge, perpetrated by the Great uh, per, by the Great War. They believe that they will be called upon to build the new world, the so-called Sixth Era. Given the similarities and description of the artifact discovered on Vega 2, we came here searching for answers. The Temple Guardians. The Kanjaro shared information with Archer regarding a portal. It's located within, deep within the labyrinth. It's said that the portal can traverse time and space, but that nobody has returned. Archer assessed their events and trip entered the labyrinth to find a portal. I hope that when they rejoin, they do not rejoin in the middle of battle, because I can't equip them in the middle of battle. They might be hurt. We have to go after them. I agree. Captain Everson. Carol. But you need rest. You've been through so much. We'll sell in the morning. For now, get some rest. Find a fresh pair of clothes. Your old uniform is in tatters. Archer is tough. I'm sure he's still alive. Or he might be getting eaten by a big boss monster that's too strong for even the scythe. Now that you mention it, I'm kind of tired. You're right. Okay. Dad and I will form a plan. Please get some rest. Do we get to pick your new outfit? How are we going to get home? Is there any, even any point in trying? I don't know. This timeline seems so bad that, honestly, we might be better off trying to restore the old one. But then again, the old one was destroyed by... Uh, uh, the old uh, timeline's Earth was destroyed by another nation, so... It could be too dangerous to go back to that timeline, too. I think we might be screwed unless we create our own new good timeline where none of the bad stuff happens. But that seems really difficult. No. We can't give up now. Yeah, I feel like going... Uh, either option is pretty bad. Right now, the, the ESA will just be committing so much genocide that it'll, even if we manage to defeat them, it would take years... Uh, it would take years to get things back into order. Okay, I'm ready. Maybe centuries. Especially environmental damage. They really fucked up that place with radiation. We might... Uh, 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 Environmentally speaking, we'd be better off going to the old timeline, wouldn't we? Okay, guys. I'm ready. Let's find Archer. The entrance to the labyrinth is within the temple. Let's make sure we're well equipped before heading out. So this is all my life savings. It won't do me any good if like, we don't make it out alive. So do I get all the inventory back? 50k. No, I don't get the scythe. Are you kidding me? Oh, he doesn't... Are you, are you kidding me? We don't even get to keep our weapons from before? Okay, I need to... Damn, really? Let me redo that entire sequence. Damn. Okay, I just know this. Sloan does get to keep his uh, uh, skills, but not any of his... Uh, but I, I unequipped everything from him, thinking it would transfer over, but it didn't. That's so weird. Damn it, and we can't even go back and buy it. That, that that really sucks. I'm gonna have to reload then. I'm gonna have to reload and try to see if I can transfer over to Scythe after all by equipping it onto everyone except for those two who went off on the separate mission. Dang it, that that's so... That's terrible. All the effort the player puts into getting all those items is all for nothing? Okay, I reloaded my save to, to the one where I did not unequip everyone, so Sloan will get to keep his equipment this way. Unfortunately, but I'll still have to buy new equipment for Carol and Kira. Really sucks they did not carry over any of our old gear. Seriously. Okay, so this is my equipment setup. With this, they are at least somewhat viable in terms of like attack spamming, but they're not going to be on part of someone who can literally move twice. Yeah, and Sloan, uh, Sloan will probably just be carrying the entire team. That's for sure. Especially, uh, yeah. A good thing is uh, uh, Sloan does have. Uh, it, it does have plasma drones, which means he can basically spam AOEs to take care of all the enemies. Yeah, I think that'll be the way going forward. Carol and Kira are kind of... Well, at least they won't die in one hit. But it's still not looking that great. 
Especially when I don't even have proper shields. Yeah, why did they make this shop so much worse than the Nexus? Man. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Starshift Origins. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.